Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by in Mandy Lee Beauty. Today I'm going to show you how to get from not to hot with this soft, everyday, long wearing makeup look. I'm going to start with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm just going to use this to conceal my eyelids and prime for shadow. I'm blending that out with my Real Techniques Essential, Essential Foundation Brush and also carving out my eyebrows all at the same time because I did that beforehand. Go me, that was smart thinking. Then I go in and I set that eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, I set that concealer with my 105 Zoeva Luxe Highlight Brush in my NARS Translucent Crystal Powder. I'm using my Tardius Pro Palette today in my Bedellum uh, Tools 785 brush and I'm going in with the shade bold as my transition shade so pay no mind to the color I showed you because I effed that up and I'm starting on the outer part of my uh, outer port I always say outer port I'm starting on the outer part of my eyebrow and I'm going about a quarter of way into my eyelid in a V shape and then I'm taking that also from the top part to the inner part of my socket staying above my hood but below my socket if that makes any sense. I don't want to take this shade too high, but I want to give a nice lift and base for my other shadow to blend into. And I'm building this up gradually. Now I'm going in again with the shade Edgy and I'm using my Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45 brush and I'm going to create my outer V and give a little bit of more depth there. And I'm starting on the outer part of my eye again, the same pattern I would with my transition shade. Outer part towards your eyebrow, working your way in towards the eye and also up. You still want to keep this shadow above your hood, but marrying in between your transition shade because you really want to set that hood back and you want to give your eye length and lift by applying it in this pattern that is exactly what you are doing. As you get older, you have to struggle a little bit more to lift your eyes and fight back those sleepless nights. And as you can see, I'm just building up these colors here, repeating, repeating these steps. Then I go in to softly blend out that edge with the same blending brush, no additional product at first. Then I go in and I build up a little more depth with my transition shade. It was just a little too light for me. I do that with this and then I also go back in with edgy and I build up my outer V as well. Repeating this process, blending, applying, blending, applying to get my desired results. Then I'm going in with this Sigma brush. I don't know the number because it has worn off. I'm going in with the color Gl Classic here and I'm going to do that lightly on both eyelids and I'm also using that color as my brow bone highlight as well. But in between, I do blend it out mildly as you can see here with my blending brush. And then I go in with my brow bone. Mm -hmm. Here it comes, there we go ladies, brow bone highlight, yes. Now I'm going in with the color Glam and that very same brush as you see, multi-tools, yes. And I just want a soft satin lid, but I go in with my Bedellum 936 brush and just on the center of my eyelid for a little more pop. And I do the same color in Glam, as you can see here, just for a little, little extra touch, nothing crazy, soft eyes today, girls. Now I'm using my Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I love this primer. You have seen me use this a million and one times. Now I always try to pat my primer in as opposed to rub, although we do know we have to rub it mildly. Now I'm using my Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation and I'm mixing together porcelain and honey, honey number five. I love this foundation. I'm blending it in with my Sigma, not my Sigma, my Zoeva 104 Buffer Brush. I love this foundation for summer, especially because it is very lightweight and it doesn't feel heavy on your face, plus it has SPF in it of 15, so you don't feel like you're really cakey or I don't know. I just think this is a really good summer foundation, especially if you have mature skin. So all you ladies out there with mature skin, this to me is a summertime, everyday makeup must have because it sits so beautifully. 
As you can see in between my eyebrows while I was gabbing away, I used my Bedellum Tools 948 brush just to get in between my eyebrows there, in case you're curious about what brush that was. And as you see, I go in for two layers of this foundation to show you you can get it from sheer coverage to full coverage, and it does wear beautifully all day. It does not get cakey. Now, I wouldn't say this is like full, full glam coverage, now I'm using my NARS concealer, my NARS soft matte concealer in the shade Vanilla Light 2. And I'm using the very same foundation brush I used on my eyelids to apply and blend out my concealer. And that is the Real Techniques Essential Foundation Brush. In true highlight form, I'm doing the V under my eyes. As you can see, I'm cleaning up my eyeshadow here. So don't worry if your eyeshadow got a little messy, you're gonna clean it up now. I'm using this also to conceal my upper lip. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation there from waxing and then going and tanning. Don't do it, girls. I'm highlighting my forehead. I go down the center of my nose as well. And I always avoid my chin because I have a pronounced chin. I do not need to highlight that. You can see highlighting my nails now. Again, going over my smile lines. Then I use my beauty blender just to blend out the edges. This is a really lightweight concealer. I love this concealer for everyday use. It's not heavy or cakey, but you still need to blend it in and soak up any excess product with your beauty blender. Then I go in with my Tardis Pro Glow Palette in the color Shade for Cream Bronzing. I'm using my Morphe brush. I don't know the number of this because it came in a set and I've had this for a few years and the number has worn off if it ever had one. And I'm kind of doing this pattern on my forehead lately because I feel like that this shapes my face better. I have more of like a squared oval type face and I'm staying to the high points of my cheekbones, the very outer perimeter of my face and mildly on my jawline and as you can see I did a mild nose contour today and I'm cleaning that up again with the very same brush that I applied my concealer with all these multitaskers today girls now I'm also using my Bedellum Tools 955 brush to blend out that cream blonde bronzer get it together my cream bronzer at least that's what I use this color for I love this brush to blend, blend out cream bronzer. It's very soft and it doesn't move my foundation underneath. And I find this cream bronzer works on almost all my foundations. As you can see, it's blending out beautifully on this Bobbi Brown foundation. And I always make sure to blend over my ears, on my jawline, and mildly down on the outer perimeter of my neck to kind of contour my neck a little bit. And I'm going again over my concealer with my beauty blender to make sure there's no creases and I'm setting it with my Cody Airspun in the translucent extra coverage. And I use that all over my face. We are not baking today. I am pouncing that in all over my face, making sure to blend that in. I find this works so good for a long work day, especially in hot weather. Something about this powder just works so well on my skin and it's not an overly drying setting powder, especially for drugstore. My only complaint is the scent. Now I'm using my NARS uh, Narcissist palette in the shade Laguna to powder bronze because once you set, you lose a little bit of that cream um, bronzer shade. So I'm just bringing it back to life with my Laguna bronzer. I fell back in love with this. So I get used to seeing it because this is my everyday bronzer for right now. And I'm using my Zoeva 101 Luxe Face Definer brush to do that. I love this brush because it's tapered but it's fluffy. So you get to be precise as to where you apply it, but it's fluffy and it blends it out all at the same time. Fabulous, because we're not contouring today either. So this is going to bring all the definition that you need with cutting that step out. No eyeliner, no lashes, no contour but yet you still look very soft, elegant, and put together. Now I'm using my NARS blush in the shade Madly, because again, this is one of my new favorites. I've had it for a while, but I go from falling in love to like, eh, falling in love. I'm in love with it again. And I'm using my Zoeva 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush, blush, my Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush to apply this. And the apples of my cheeks, 
highest points of my cheeks, kind of in between my blush, and it's like just above my bronzer and on my cheekbones. Now I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm sticking with the two lightest colors. And I believe those are the shades Radiant and Incandescent Light, but I could be wrong. And I'm using my Real Techniques powder brush to apply that. Now this is not a setting powder, it is a finishing powder. I'm using my Highl Pro Highlight again, Tardiest Pro Glow Palette again, and I'm using the shade Strobe and Stunner to apply my highlight, which is going to go just above my blush, on the tops of my eyebrows, and tippy tips of my cheekbones. Bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, I never do my chin. And I also do a tiny bit on my forehead to hide those forehead wrinkles. We want to reflect, deflect back from those wrinkles. And I usually do my highlighters relatively soft. See, as you can see, I'm blending it out now with that same Real Techniques brush that I used to put my finishing powder. And then I'm using the Superhero, the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara that I got in my Ipsy bag. And I am in love with this mascara. I want to get this in the full size. It gives me volume, it gives me length, and I do not have to fuss with it. Now we're almost done going in and I'm just blending out my cheeks again a little more and I'm using my Scandalize Coal Liner by Rimmel just to tight line my upper lid, my inner rim, whatever you call that. It sounds so dirty when you say that. But my waterline. And I'm using also from my Ipsy bag the Trey Stique lipstick in the color Tuscan Wine. Again, I love this. It lasted all day. Absolutely beautiful color, and as I realized, red looks fabulous on me, or at least in my opinion, it looks really good on my skin tone. Especially if you're going to do a soft look, it gives you a little extra pop. Makes you look a little more polished. I hope you liked this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you did, please like and subscribe, and thank you for checking me out. I'm running out the door. Bye!